Did you know that many implants fail, not necessarily because of the technique of the implant placement itself, but because of the uh, type of grafting material used? Today, I'm going to talk to you about something almost nobody wants to talk about regarding bone substitutes and how to avoid them thanks to the use of a more natural, biologically sound clinical technique. I am uh, Dr. Fernando Verdugo. I'm an American board certified periodontist since 2003. I've been working here in the US uh, since 99. Well, that makes it well, 26 years. Uh, and by the way, I'm a, a clinician, mostly a clinician a researcher and published author. I have helped many, many people avoid using bone substitutes or what they call uh, artificial bone or bone that comes from a different species and achieve long lasting, biologically sound, aesthetic clinical outcomes in a uh, much more natural and biological way. Bone substitutes uh, basically act as fillers. Uh, they fill the defect, which can actually uh, impair new bone formation and delay healing. This has been shown in human histological data. Uh, bone substitutes are potentially more prone to infection. Basically, it takes longer for them to integrate with native bone, which could lead to a poor bone to implant contact, poor osseointegration, and higher risks of uh, pre-implant disease, so-called uh, pre-implantitis. When we don't respect the uh, natural cascade of physiological events in uh, human wound healing, uh, your bone may not be happy. And if your bone is not happy, uh, it may be more prone to infection or to uh, poor bone quality. So how can we make our bone happier? Basically by using a protocol that makes biological sense. For example, uh, using uh, the proven principles of uh, periosteal guided bone regeneration. By the way, we have recently published this more uh, natural protocol and have shown that uh, this technique decreases cost, morbidity, and uh, treatment duration, eliminating the need of a uh, more uh, multi-stage uh, protocol. This has been recently published in uh, peer-reviewed scientific journals, such as the uh, International Journal of Oral Musculofacial Implants, which is the uh, official journal of the American Academy of Osseointegration, and Clinical Advances in uh, Periodontics, which is another official journal of the uh, American Academy of Periodontology. This more natural approach allows our body to uh, harness the uh, super healing powers of the uh, periosteal membrane. And if combined with uh, autogenous bone, that will definitely boost the healing. It will boost new bone formation, bone regeneration. And we can do this simultaneously at the same time of implant placement, even on sockets that have uh, severe bone loss, severe damage. So uh, by using tiny pieces of the patient's own bone, we can create or actually recreate uh, a 360 degree bony house around that implant that the body will basically recognize as normal, as biologically sound, and it will maintain that integrity, that bony house long-term because it is within the genetic envelope of that site. There are different clinical scenarios where we could use this, this potential protocol of periosteal guided bone regeneration. But just, I'm gonna give you one. Just imagine when we extract the tooth, uh, there's basically two types of sockets that we're going to find. Either a socket that is intact, has intact bony walls, so that's a good healthy socket, or one that has bone loss, dehiscences, uh, and that is basically a damaged socket. So we could actually uh, place the implant simultaneously, both of them, either intact or non-intact socket. Uh, all we need to do is, and we can do this minimally invasive, reconstruct 
the socket using tiny little pieces, tiny seals of cortical bone to, uh, like the pieces of a puzzle, reconstruct that socket at the same time that we have placed the implant and fill the site with tiny particles of autogenous bone that will, in a very, very short period of time, boost new bone formation. That happens again because of that concept of 360 degree bony house that we have built around the perimeter of our implant. This is very much doable and it makes biological sense. Uh, by the way, if you like what you're hearing or you want to know more about it, uh, please uh, subscribe. Uh, you can also follow me on uh, Instagram and YouTube. If you are a dental professional or dentist, uh, a specialist uh, of any kind and want to know more about this uh, natural, biologically sound uh, protocol of periosteal guided bone regeneration, uh, if you want to know uh, the principles that will provide long-lasting aesthetic clinical outcomes, uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, and uh, you can follow me also on Instagram and, and YouTube. I hope you liked it. Uh, I'll see you soon.